There used to be a time when man would look to God to know what is right and true in this world so deeply flawed. He alone once held the answers to the questions of their day. They sought his will, they searched his word, they bent their knees to pray. But today is a new dawn, a different kind of thought. Truth is what you make it, this is what we're taught. There are no moral absolutes, so you must then perceive that your feelings and emotions are what you should believe. What's right for you is right for you, but don't impose on me. We are all correct in our own thoughts and our own philosophy. Tolerance, called love, is the answer to all things. Give more hugs, express yourself, peace on earth to bring. We have no need for God if truth lies within. He is old and obsolete and just talks about our sin. Are we so naive to think that we define truth, love, and righteousness like we are the divine? Did our hands carve the mountains? Did our voice calm the sea? Did we invent the rainbow or cause the stars to be? Did we create ourselves inside our mother's womb? Or are we just a product of an accidental boom? Reality is this. There is a maker of this earth. He gave you breath this very day, sustained you from your birth. This maker looked upon his world and saw disease in man. The sin, the hate, the sorrow. Then he devised a plan. We were separated from him and lost in utter dark. So he came to his creation to light it with his spark. He preached of godly love and called sinners from their plight. He healed the sick, but to heal the soul, there was one final fight. So God himself gave his flesh to thorns and whips and nails. His blood flowed down, man spat on him, whom heaven's angels hail. This was the death that we had earned, but he took it in our place. Now do we love him for it and accept his gift of grace? Or do we go on believing that truth and goodness dwell inside? Turn away and turn to God. Get rid of foolish pride. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hugs and tolerance will never save this world or rid it of its strife. So next time you're searching for truth, do not hold up a mirror. Be not wise in your own eyes. Instead, God's Son revere.